Hey, good morning. It is 7.31 here in Poland, Ohio. I'm at work. Um, came in early, do a couple model things before I start my day. I haven't even looked at the schedule yet to see what's on the schedule. We've been kind of slow, so there may not be much on the uh, schedule. It appears the boss didn't take his uh, big race trailer out because... Here's his ram truck, and there's his big old race trailer. This is Tom's project vehicle. We got more project vehicles in here for people than we have actual customer vehicles right now. There's our dump slash plow truck. But yeah, this is the boss's home away from home. Uh, another week or so here, he's going to uh, King of the Hammers out in California, out in the desert. And, um, yep, it's a town unto itself. Uh, there's somebody's razor that we are storing, apparently. And, uh, yeah, that's his trailer. Yep. But anyhow, they brought it over the weekend. They were working on it. So, I guess we shall see what else is on the schedule today. But anyhow, um, I painted the Ford GT here last week. Uh, I got some colors from MCW. This is actually a Ford color. I believe it's uh, 1982 or 81. I'd have to look it up. It's called Light Pine Green. And I cleared it with the 1K. It's got some very fine dirt. I'll give it a quick scuffing and polishing, but overall it came out pretty nice. It's been drying all weekend. I cleared it on Friday and I was actually going to come out and maybe get it on Saturday afternoon or yesterday sometime, but honestly, um, it was just too cold. Me and a girlfriend, I, we ran out to get her our pick up something for her and Hermitage and we did lunch and I came home and I'm like well I really got to go do this and do that and I'm like you know there's no rush to get this done there's my thumb bleeding a little bit from the crack skin but yeah I can't glue those on yet because they get little vent grills put in them from behind so those couldn't be glued on ahead of time but yeah that's it even though this is a snap kit, I don't think too much of it's getting snapped. I mean, it'll be mostly glued, but you know, I gotta do highlights and the uh, what you call it, the black wash, you know, panel line and stuff like that. And and uh, here's the rear. Really hard to do through the camera. Yeah, go ahead and drop it, Joe. That's the rear bumper. Hold on, let me do this out here. <laughs> Off camera so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. It's just setting there. I don't have it all the way in, but... And the lower half of that... This whole area in here gets painted black. And uh, there'll be some other black accents on it the marker lights and all that stuff done there's a little that yeah just some schmutz it needs a little polishing a little booger came up right here when i primed it i don't know if it shot a solid wad of pigment from the primer so i sanded that it looked good and then uh, it looked good when i painted it and cleared it and then as it dried out it popped back out a little bit but Eh, I'll polish it the best I can. The only decals it's going to get are the um, the black stripes down here, the Ford GT stripes. Um, you know, um, there's no, no other stripes. And uh, I may do something in these insets. I may do these in like a semi-gloss black, like a just the inset area. I may. And then some other accents, but that's it. That's the color I'm going with. No metallic, no pearl, something totally different. It's not quite a mint green. Uh, it's almost like that forestry green. Uh, it's called light 
pine. I believe it was a 1979 or 80 color. And um, I kind of like it. I just wanted something understated. I didn't want to go with anything full on. Because I just wanted it subtle. Subtle is good. And then I'm working on this today a little bit if I can. Um, this is for a slot car guy. I got that hood scoop fit horribly, so I really got to sand on that. But this is going to be a barn find race car. Uh, the only problem is I don't have the decals. It's the super clean car, and uh, it's supposed to have the super clean decals, and it's all one color. But the decals aren't in the box. Um, and I don't remember. I bought the kit at a thrift store. Whether I pitched the decals because they were so cracked and yellowed. Or whether I stored them separately with the rest of my decals. So I got to go through my decals tonight. And see if I can find them. If not. Uh, excuse me. I'll see if he's fine with a. You know. Generic race car. Or uh See if I can find some decals for it. But, yeah, that's it. And this is all the chrome for the Ford GT. I remember to bring my Easy Off oven cleaner. So I'm going to spritz all this and get rid of the chrome. And the wheels are probably going to be like a metallic black charcoal type color. So that's that for those. And that's about it. Um... Like I said, I haven't even looked at the schedule yet to see how much time I got, what's going to be going on today. And there's the side view mirrors painted and cleared. I don't believe they come with the chrome. Um, I'll have to look on the parts tree before I strip that, see if they have inserts for the mirrors, which I think they do. I hope they do. If not, I'll just have to make them out of bare metal. Uh, let me see here. You know, I'm looking at the chrome tree here, and I don't see a thing for mirrors. I see all kinds of other stuff, but I don't see any mirrors. They may be on the clear tree, um, for all I know. If not, I'll make them. <sighs> Excuse me again. God, I thought I got enough sleep. I guess not. So... Anyhow, yeah, that's it for now. Just want to make a quick one there and show you what color it is. I think it looks rather good. It's just something unique. And, uh, yeah. Green, why not? But that's it. Okay, people, well, I'm going to go do a couple other things before I have to clock in and get my butt moving, I guess. So, um, everybody have a good day, and uh, I'm going to try to, and I will be talking at you later. So, until then, thanks for watching, and I appreciate all you new uh, subscribers. I got quite a few in the past couple of weeks. Really surprised. So, I appreciate all of, each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Talk to you later. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.